everybody, my name is Virus Alert, and I am back to bring you guys another video in my Windows Chicago series. Today, we will be looking at Windows 95 Build 189. Now, right off the bat, as you can see, it's nothing different. We've seen this installation all before. So I don't think there's anything that's very different from Build 120. Oh, really? Look at that. That's a new setup build. Yep, this build it's one of its changes from build 122 is a new installer. Now this installer looks pretty much the same as in the RTM version, which is the released version. So we can pretty much assume that this is probably as close as you're gonna get to the final product in beta terms. This beta build was compiled on September 22nd, 1992. And if you haven't realized it yet, it is the first leaked build to refer itself as Windows 95. So this is pretty dang cool. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a little disclaimer here. I will not be reviewing any of the other beta builds on Windows 95. There's a reason for this. Now, there's a couple reasons. Well, now, the one reason that I won't be doing it is because they're just gonna be minor tweaks. They are just minuscule tweaks. This build is probably as close as you're going to get to the final product. September 22nd, 1994. This is pretty much the, one of the most significant builds in this Chicago series. I just have to say that the other builds are not important. I'm just saying I want to show you guys the very, very obvious stuff. I like showing you guys the very tiny things and stuff, but I also want to show it in the very obvious the very obvious tiny kind of things I don't just want to make a video that's only gonna be like what four or five minutes long and tell you guys oh this 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 check this out look over here this is the big thing look at this over here look look at this tiny little kernel thing that's been upgraded no I honestly don't want to do that that's boring I don't want to do that I like making long videos I like making 7 to 13 minutes or 15 minute long videos that is fun for me because that get means that gives me a lot of interesting things to talk about here now it's not to say that this this build doesn't have that many interesting things to talk about which is kind of ironic to be totally honest but still this is a very major build there's not that much to talk about it though but there are some things we can take out of it now the reason why there's not that much to talk about it is because it's pretty much the same as build 122 except it's polished it's a lot more polished and it looks almost like the final thing and there's also not that much information on this build as I've been looking so yeah one interesting thing I can tell you guys is that this that this build was the last to include WinPad as an idea and it was scrapped and old, and it turned into Windows CE so we're not gonna see any more WinPad from here on it and also what's funny is this build can't even run the DOS prompt, but you want to know why? Because it doesn't even have the files to run DOS prompt, <laughs> really. <laughs> That's what impresses me. And another, th another little update here is that, that cab32.exe is now known as explorer.exe, so that's, you know, the explorer. So I don't know if I, I don't, I don't think I opened up the task manager here because I don't think there was any significant changes in task manager in this one. So, right off the bat, I told, so we knew that there was going to be a new start menu as it showed you there. There are new icons, and there's a new tutorial application as we saw. There was also a new run once application that was added after startup. That's cool. Oh, look, and it's referencing builds 122, which is pretty good. That's awesome. I like that. It was telling us that we can upgrade from those builds. So if we needed to, if we had a build that, like there were some builds that you, uh, in this Chicago series that you needed to have a drop off point. So you need to have like build 122 or build 189 to upgrade to, to actually use that build. You couldn't just install it off the disc, like all willy nilly. You'd have to put the disc in and treat it like a, uh, an operating system upgrade pretty much it looks like the minimized animation has gone more smoother and it's a little bit more quicker I can definitely tell of the changes 32 bit access that's nice and there we go there's the version number one one eight nine which is 
pretty obvious. There's a couple new things in here, actually, in the property scan. Standing correct. This actually is a, a very, very nice, a very nice build we can talk about. That's pretty interesting. That's cool. Okay. Well then. So the icons have definitely changed. Recycle bin is no longer recycle dot bin. It's now recycle. No, it's not even recycle, but it's waste basket. That's weird. Why would Microsoft change that? Hmm. I want to know that. Why is it called waste basket? Why couldn't they have just stuck with the recycled bin? Or recycled dot bin? Like, come on. <clears throat> but anyways, it pretty much... Nothing else to say about this build. It... Dinosaur. Am I... Re <laughs> so there's a dinosaur there. Wasn't those one of the weren't those one of the cursors like back then in Windows like XP or something? I used to use that as a kid. You know, I shouldn't even be judging. I used to use that that as a kid uh, as my cursor, the, the dinosaur cursors, which are I thought they were pretty nice. I thought they were nice. I liked them. Cannot run net app. Okay, thanks. When pop up, this thing keeps changing. I saw in if you guys didn't notice in a couple builds in the Winver, it kept saying it was Windows 3.5, and then it kept then the version number changed to 4.0. And then four, then 3.5. Microsoft, come on, give me some in, some consistency here. Everything looks relatively the same, and it res and like I said, it resembles the final product very well. So it's so close to the final product. I mean, this is almost this is a few months away from when it was actually released. So we're getting there. I'm pretty sure that's really about it. That's all I really need to talk about. I've already explained to you guys why I have why I'm not gonna do the other builds, so look forward to only the RTM version of Windows 95 and the OSR builds, because I thought those were pretty interesting. The OSR builds are gonna be a little shorter, but they do have some significant changes. They do have some stuff that adds a little spice to the operating system, I'll tell you that. The wastebasket actually works. Empty wastebasket. Well that's a cool icon. Okay. Well, I think that's about it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. I'll keep these videos coming. I'll be working on the other videos, and, you know, thank you very much for the support. Follow me on Twitter. I have a Twitter. Go to my channel and click the Twitter icon, because I now have a Twitter. So I will be posting updates on any videos that you guys uh, want to know. I'll do some ant questions. I'll do Q&As if you want on there. Well, that's cool. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Fire Solutable, signing off.